My name is Dr. Kabweru Weberforce. I'm a senior consultant surgeon and I am the head of thoracic and vascular uh, division of surgery. And uh, this uh, unit actually deals with the surgery of the lung and the foregut and the chest and also the blood vessels in Mlago National Fire Hospital. We see patients actually who are either adult and children and they have uh, either injuries to the chest, those are the commonest, and one of the biggest burdens we have, chest uh, trauma, and usually it may be blunt or penetrating, and among the blunt we, are, we have patients who come with falls, uh, either being involved in accidents, and they have injuries uh, to the ribs, rib fractures, and any collections in the plural spaces, and sometimes even the lungs themselves have been contused or injured. So depending on the gravity and the extent, we manage those patients. Also, we have penetrating chest injuries, whereby we have gunshot uh, wounds to the chest or shafts that have impeded into the chest or following other fights, arrows and other things. So, depending on the extent of the injury, in most cases we admit those ones and we actually uh, drain out any polo collections that may be blood, air, or other fluids within that. Once in a while we need to open up the chest to uh, actually handle some of those complications. Also, sometimes we get patients who have uh, uh, other uh, general thoracic conditions like anterior chest wall swelling so masses and we do anterior chest wall resections uh, whereby we resect out that mass on the chest and we do reconstruct. We put back the chest uh, using different materials and actually we are able to do that in this country. And then also we manage patients who have either cancer of the lungs or cancer of the fore gut or esophagus. And that's one of our, our biggest, um, uh, biggest in our clients with the cancer of the esophagus. And depending at what stage those patients come in, uh, if they come early, which is rare for stage one, but stage two, if they come early, we tend to do esophagectomies. That's when we cut off some part with the esophagus, or some part of the esophagus with the tumor, and then we join the esophagus to the stomach. So we do it in two phases or three phases. We open up the abdomen, uh, we mobilize the esophagus and then also tubularize the stomach and then also open up the, the chest wall so that we can uh, cut out that mass and then you connect uh, the stomach to the esophagus. But sometimes if it's high up also we do a three incision and we go through the neck. So esophagectomy is one of the commonest surgeries we do in Mlago almost every Friday we do one because there's are long surgeries and also we do other surgeries on the lung now depending on how injured the lung is or what congenital things that children are born with or adults acquire as they grow sometimes also we do a number of uh, lung reduction surgeries what do I mean uh, we know that the right lung has three lobes is an upper, middle, and lower lobe. The left has two. So sometimes if any of those is, has an um, infection, or it has been um, injured terribly, or if the entire lung is no longer functional, uh, we actually we may remove one lobe, what we call lobectomy, or we may remove two lobes, or if the entire lung on the right uh, is injured, 
we do what we call pneumonectomy. We also admit patients who have uh, aclasia. That's when we have narrowing of the gullet down there when it is uh, moving towards the stomach. So if you can no longer swallow, we go inside there and then open up so that the patient is able to swallow and then things go into the stomach. So there's a number of things that we do and the Ugandans should be aware that actually we do those things in the country.